Hi, my name is Neil Turner. I'm an editorial and corporate photographer based here in the UK. As you can see, you're staring at the back of one of my Canon EOS 5D Mark IV cameras. And today I want to take you through a basic setup for FTP from the camera. This is something I find myself doing more and more uh, with both editorial and corporate clients who want to see my pictures really quickly so they can use them for their social media and for their websites instantly, uh, saving them having to use their own uh, not so good smartphone pictures. So let's get going. I'm hitting the menu button, up comes the menu. One of the great joys of the 5D Mark IV is the touch screen. Instead of having to use the scroll wheel to endlessly go through menus, I can go straight to where I want to go using the touch screen. So where I need to be today is in the setup menu, known as spanner in my household, and I need to go to the fourth screen in the setup menu, and that's where you find communication settings. I've set this up also on my My Menu, so here we go, over to My Menu. It's the best place to have communication settings if you're going to do this regularly. Touch that. And at this point you need to know that this is a three-part setup process. It's actually one, one and a bit continuous processes, but there are three distinct sections to it. The first is connecting to the internet, and so if I touch built-in wireless settings, it offers me another screen, and I need to leave that on Wi-Fi only, and take my Wi-Fi function to here. Now this choice is between connecting to a phone, connecting to a computer, a printer, various web services, but the one we're interested in is this one that's already highlighted, which is connect to an FTP server. Just thinking about it. And what it's doing now is offering me a choice of all of the uh, Wi-Fi hotspots that are in my area. Uh, here we go, down, 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 down. Now just for the sake of uh, brevity, I'm gonna use this one, which is my MiFi device. I'm going to touch that one and it's asking me to enter a password. So here I go, enter a password. Now you'll forgive me if I don't want to give away all my secrets. So I'm just going to delete the, uh, the sample password that's in there. And then we're going to go out of focus for a short while while I put my actual password in. Putting the password in now. Uh, I do this so often that I actually remember all my passwords. I don't know about you guys, but uh, it's very useful to be able to do that. My password was obviously okay because it's now asking me how I want to set the local IP address. This is the, uh, the identity of the camera when it's speaking to the network, or in this case to my MiFi. Uh, my MiFi is very happy giving out IP addresses locally, so it's going to uh, set it automatically. I've chosen automatic settings. Okay, the good news is we're at the end of the first stage of setup. We're now effectively connected to the internet and the camera now wants to know which FTP mode I want to connect to and it also want, will want to know which FTP server I want to connect to. So the difference here is FTP or FTP secure. Most of the servers I'm connected with are FTP, so we're going to go with FTP. Now it wants to know what the address of my server is. Now I'm not going to give you um, a whole load of out of focus settings here. So what we've done is we've made up a set of uh, settings and we've made up an address. This address doesn't exist as far as I know, but it's important that you realize that at this stage, your whoever owns the server will have given you three very important pieces of information. They'll have given you the server address, they'll have given you a logon, and they'll have given you a password. Um, and you'll also find they might have given you a folder to go to, but we'll talk about that in a short while. So the address settings, here we go. I'm gonna to touch address settings. And here we go, we've lost the touch screen. I don't know why, but the camera doesn't like you using touch screen for putting in a server name. Maybe it thinks it's too vital. So you have to use the dustbin button to delete what's there. And then you use the up and down rocker to go up and down and the scroll wheel to go left and right to spell out the name of your server. Now, some servers have a numeric address and some have a um, alphanumeric address. The server we've made up is called ftpaddress.com. As I say, it may or may not exist, but we certainly don't have access to it. But So I'm going to dial in the address very quickly, uh, remembering how to spell FTP address, rock going up for the full stop. ftpaddress.com, I've checked it, that's fine. I'm gonna hit menu to enter it. Now it's asking me what port number I want to use. FTP is nearly always on port 21 and uh, we're not gonna 
buck that trend today. So we're staying on port 21. Uh, and we're given a choice of passive mode, ena enabled or disabled. We're going with enable passive mode because it has advantages if it's working. Uh, we're not using a proxy server today. And in fact, I've never had to use a proxy server on this. And then login password. This is where we need to go into the login and put in the details that have been previously given to us by the uh, server owner. So this time we can use the touch screen and the username they've given me is Neil, all lowercase, N-E-I-L, and number 007, because that's want to be James Bond, obviously. Uh, and that's OK. And then they've given me a password as well. And the password is, rather boringly, my surname, which is Turner, 007. That's great. So that's OK and then wants to know whether we want to go into the root folder or whether there's a specific folder it wants us to go in. For the sake of this, we're going straight into the root folder. We're not going into a selected folder. Okay, so we're going to get an error message now because this server doesn't exist. What I'm going to do next is put in some actual server details and walk you through the rest of the process. Okay, so we're back in focus and we're going to hit root folder. Okay, that's good news. It says OK. That means we are connected to the server. Um, so I'm going to OK that. And then what I need to do is go back and complete the third part of the settings, which is to alter some of the transfer settings. And one or two of them are vital. So I'm going to disconnect now. Disconnect. OK, so I'm going to go back in the menu. So Wi-Fi function again. Yes, we want that and we're going to review and change settings. Change the set. And first of all, we're gonna look at the FTP server. Now, we've already set the target server, we've already set the login and password, we've already set the target folder. Uh, the one we need to change, and this is vital, directory structure. Canon cameras at the moment automatically send a file structure that mimics the memory card to the receiving server. I can't see why they do this. I can't think of a single reason why you'd want to do this, um, but that's the way it happens. So what you have to do every time you, what you, do, you go through a fresh setup is go here, find the word camera, change it to default. And so that's what the screen should look like to send just the pictures and not file folders within folders within folders. So use the menu to go back and then go to FTP server again. Sorry, use the menu to go back and then back again. Now what I want to do is change the settings name. I have a way I do this and it's very simple and it, it, it helps me at no end. What I do is I um, first of all put the name of the uh, device to which I use to connect to the internet. So it might be iPhone, but in this case it's Netgear and then a space and then whichever server I'm connecting to. So this is my home server. So Netgear Home is the name of that set of settings and it tells me instantly uh, what that's, those settings contain. OK that, OK that, OK. Just go back in the menu again. OK, there's just one or two other things to look at. FTP transfer settings. Uh, automatic transfer disable. You want that disabled unless you want to send every single file. Uh, transfer type size. I'm sending JPEGs here, but I have been involved in projects where we've sent raw files. And as long as you've got a, a, a great connection, that's fine. So yeah, we're going here, JPEG only, larger JPEG. And transfer with set. I'm going to enable that because that makes it much easier to just pick a picture and send it as I'll show you in a minute. So I'm now happy that all my settings are there. So I've completed all three parts of the setup. OK, so we're just going to go through sending some pictures now. So you can see I've got communication settings up. Go into that. Built-in wireless settings. Wi-Fi function. And we're going to there. Now you can see it's already set up the only set of uh, settings I have. So that's OK. And I just need to connect. So if I hit connect and OK, that should now have me connected to the server. I bring this up and you can see these little icons here, uh, we, the transfer icon and the transfer with set icon. 
Uh, I'm just going to go through now, look through these pictures. These are from uh, the recent London Marathon, and these are the winner's press conference and photo call at Tower Bridge. So you can see I like this picture. I'm going to send this one. So I'm going to hit the word set. You can see the words transferring come up now. And you can see the icons are there. And also there's a flashing light down here. Should take between 8 and 10 seconds on a Wi-Fi. On a MiFi, sorry. Here we go. The little circles come up. The word transferring has disappeared. We have sent that picture. That picture is now in my server. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to look for another picture to send. Um, I'm looking for one with press photographers in the foreground and the winners with the trophy. There they are. There's the winners with the trophy. There's the press photographers in the foreground. Excellent. I'm going with that one. And that's now transferring again. So again, the flashing light, you know it's happening. The word transferring is there. Um, we should get the circle any second. There's the circle. Now, if the transfer fails, that circle is across. And it should give you the option to retry. So there you go. The picture's gone. And the walkthrough is pretty much complete. If you want to know more about me, more about what I do, and read my blog, you can go to www.dg28.com. Thanks very much for listening. Cheers. Bye-bye.